I thought we were too good to eat cafeteria food. Now that Casey's out and I'm in charge, I say that cafeteria food is delicious. Okay, it's fucking nasty, but my dad cut me off, so I have a dollar fifty to my name. Thanks for offering to have lunch with us. Otherwise, we probably would have sat alone. It's not so bad. I didn't have friends until recently, so I spent most of my childhood eating lunch alone. You learn how to love the solitude. I've always had friends. I've never eaten alone. There's space at this table. No, that's where the nerds sit. That's where you used to sit? No, I told you I sat alone. This cafeteria is packed. How did you even find a table to yourself? I didn't say I ate in the cafeteria. You ate in the girl's bathroom? After a while, your nose acclimates to the smell of shit and period blood. It's not that bad. Well, you'll never have to do that again. As long as we're around, you'll always have someone to sit with. I mean, she has me. Where on earth are we gonna sit? Okay, let's do this. Right now? Um, yeah. What do you want? To, like, get to know each other first? I mean, kind of. Um, I'm not, like, really interested in, like, your personal life. I thought you were into me. No. I'm just, like, ovulating and everyone else is, like, busy. Okay, buddy, it's her time. So you don't want to date me? No. God, no. You just want to use me? Yeah. All right. That's kind of hot. No strings attached. On your tampon? It's a, it's a, like a string-free tampon. What? It's a special one, like, made for sex. You're an idiot. How am I supposed to know anything about tampons? I just meant, like, that you're not allowed to catch feelings. This is, like, purely transactional. I will be sure to make a big, successful transaction. You've, like, done this before, right? Like, with someone else? Sure. Meet Martha and Yolinda. I spend a lot of time with them. Uh, honestly, I don't want to know. I don't really care. Let's just, like, get on with it. All right. Come sit. Let's just, like, get on with it. All right. Come sit. Welcome to my bed, a.k.a. where the magic happens. Ew, like, what is on these sheets? The magic. I'm gonna, like, need some better dirty talk. Your unwashed bedding is, like, not doing it for me. Oh, okay. Um, I want you to lay down flat on your back. Okay. How does that feel? Um, you're, like, not doing anything. I meant the mattress. It's a Tempur-Pedic. It's nice, right? Are you comfortable? Yeah, I could definitely fall asleep. Okay, sorry, sorry. Dirty talk. Um, I'm ready for you. Are you ready to take all of this? Yes, I'm ready. What do I do now? Get on top of me. Right. I should kiss you. I should kiss you. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> are you trying to make me catch you? That's okay, I like games. Maybe no kissing. What? Um, that's like kind of like intimate. We don't really like each other like that. This is more just like, like a friendly favor. How am I supposed to get into it if we don't kiss? Okay, fine. Just a little and like no tongue. Okay. Wait, stop. Wait. I'm, like, not doing anything. Stop making eye contact. No. Crap. Oh, what just happened? Wait, stop. Wait. I'm, like, not doing anything. Stop making eye contact. No. Crap. Oh, what just happened? Are you serious? It was an accident. You're too pretty. That's, like, really pathetic, Carlos. I'm sorry. Just give me a minute. <sighs> I think I'm just gonna, like, go home. No, please. It'll come back. Just give me literally, like, five minutes for it to rejuvenate. Fine. At least you can, like, use this five minutes to do, like, other things. Oh, yeah, that's a great idea. I can hop on Xbox for a few while you wait. I meant, like, you could warm me up. What do you mean? Are you cold? I can get you a blanket. Sorry, my mom doesn't like to turn the heat on until we can literally see our breath. No. I meant, like, get me going in other ways. But yours is always ready, isn't it? 
It doesn't change shape. Are you like for real? It does change shape. It expands inside like a little, but... Whoa, so it's like an inverted piece? Kinda. You still need to like get it ready. Don't you watch... P Don't you watch... P yeah. They seem like they're always ready. That's because it's like made for men. But the women always seem like they're having so much fun. Unlikely, but I would like to actually have fun. So if you don't mind. Okay, yeah, of course. I, I want you to have fun. May I? Yes. How's that? That's my thigh. What? Then what have I been rubbing? A really big pimple. So I should probably admit, I'm not a professional. Wow, no way. I mean, if we take your pants off, I can probably figure out where I am better. A one can help. Are you gonna? Oh, I have to like do everything? Wow, you're beautiful. Hey, wait, I think he's going back. We can skip this. Uh, like, no, we can't. Oh, right, we have to warm you. I'm so cold. I got it, I got it, don't worry. I've seen this in movies. I think it's better if I use... I got it, I got it, don't worry. I've seen this in movies. I think it's better if I use... Oh, yeah. Yeah, that sounds great. I'm going now. I'm here. I'm ready. I'm gonna begin now. Are you trying to convince me or you? Wait, no, I'm not trying to convince you. No, like I was kidding, go ahead. No, I need a yes. Yes. No, it has to be an enthusiastic yes. Yes. That was an angry yes, it has to be a happy yes. Happy yes. Okay, you can do this. Can you like pick one rhythm? Sorry. God, jeez, are you like trying to kill it? No. <sighs> Let me try something else. Are you almost there? It's been like one minute. That's my point. Are you close? <sighs> uh, there, I finished. Oh, that was easy. See, you just needed to concentrate. Is he ready or what? He's never been more ready. All right, let's do this. Oh, wow, Carlos. You might be short, annoying, and like slightly ugly, but like this makes up for it. Really? Y'all, yeah, that's... My river is like finally flowing. Suddenly, I'm like really into you. That's some intense eye contact. Too hot. Too much. Grandpa's farts. Grandpa's farts. Grandpa's farts smell like eggs. Okay. And so, like, typically I would, but I'm, like, really good at it, and you would not last, like, two seconds, and I really don't want to go through, like, another one of your refractory periods. I'll take what I can get. I seriously cannot wait, like, any longer. I am ovulating, like, so hard. I seriously cannot wait, like, any longer. I am ovulating, like, so hard. Wait, aren't you not supposed to have sex? while you're ovulating isn't that how you get pregnant you like know nothing else but you know that i did do heavy research into how not to get a girl pregnant okay well like yeah you're right ovulation is like when you can conceive then we shouldn't be doing this right now um like ovulation is also when girls are at their most needy well, that's inconvenient for you guys yeah but i'm a girl in need so give me what i need please don't worry i have calls. i stocked up they're 98% effective at preventing pregnancy. Um, no, I don't like to use condoms. I like to feel the full experience. Yeah, but the full experience can include pregnancy and STDs. Aren't you like a virgin? I can't get an STD from you if you've like never had sex. That's true, but what about me? I know you sleep around and you just said that you never use condoms. Um, I think I got tested like last week. Oh, okay. Well, what about pregnancy? I'm not ready for little Carlos Jr. What about pregnancy? I'm not ready for little Carlos Jr. Just like pull out. I'm not going to get pregnant. The pull out method is only 78% effective. And those are pretty good odds. Okay. I'll do a good job. I promise. Yeah, I trust you. Is it in? Oh, screw you. Feels pretty wide in here. Just go faster. Yeah. I'm good. Oh, wow. This is the best day of my life. Yeah. Wow, this is incredible. Why are your eyes closed? I'm concentrating. Oh, okay. Daddy... Yes, daddy. Oh, yeah? Daddy! Okay, shh, my parents will hear you. Okay, daddy. Yeah, I'm your daddy. 
Who's your daddy? Daddy Ian. What? Ian Summerhalder. What did you say? Um, I said that feels great. Are you still keeping your eyes closed to concentrate? Yes, Daddy Ian. Daddy, Daddy, Daddy. Daddy, Daddy, Daddy. Wait, Emma? Yeah, say my name, Daddy. Emma, you calling me Daddy is too much. What? No, no eye contact. Oh, shit. Oh my god, did you not pull out? I didn't have time. Ugh, you idiot. Where are you going? I'm gonna, like, use your bathroom to try to push it out of me, and then I'm going home. Okay. Uh, did you finish? No. Oh. Well, I still had fun. Yeah, thanks. I feel like a new man. Hopefully not a new man with a child. So, Faye, do you have lunch plans? Um, no, I don't think so. Do you want to sit with me at lunch? Us. Do you want to sit with us? Sure, that would be beautiful. I'd love to get to know you guys better. Kai, will you join me too? Us! I wouldn't miss it. Wait, I want to have lunch. Okay, then have lunch. No one's stopping you. No, I want to, like, have lunch with you guys. We have plans. Shall we? The table can only fit five. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. You're pregnant and you have a woba baby. Ugh. Children ruin everything! I'm sure we could make room for you and your children. Oh, yeah. We could. <laughs> Emma, can you shut your baby up? If I could, I like what? Baby star, it's quiet time now. Will you marry me or sleep with me? Either is great. <laughs> you, boy in the back, who are you? Casey? I'm Casey. She looks terrible. All right, great. No interesting facts. Let's move on. Oh, I have some interesting facts about Casey. Miss Watson, sit down. She's a Sit down. She's a liar. She's manipulative. She's a homewrecker. Oh, wow. She's ugly. She kissed my girlfriend. And she thinks she runs this school, when in reality, everyone hates her. Not again. Are you finished? Far from it. She... Yes, she's finished. Babe, sit down. I hate you! No! No, you, like, woke up, Star. I'm gonna have to take the whole custody. Who are you calling? My psychiatrist. Good. Don't even look at me! What do you mean he doesn't work there anymore? The whole business shut down? I'm Carlos, and I'm about to be a dad. It's not your baby! But we slept together! I sleep with, like, a lot of people! Well, we didn't use protection! I never do! Well, great, I probably have herpes! I have herpes! You can't get herpes if you've never had physical contact with someone! Yes, you can, if it's passed from birth! You got herpes from being born? Yes. The first thing I knew in this life was herpes. Does it hurt? <sighs> You're insufferable! That's enough! I am not your sex ed teacher or your mother. You're a little old to be our mother. More like great grandmother. <laughs> Gerald, it's your turn. When you just said my name, you took all the fun out of it. Just go. I'm Gerald and I have herpes. The school is quite entertaining. <laughs> this isn't a brothel. <laughs> Hi, what? Okay, now you're chasing Cloud. That's if we're not going to do it. Hi guys, do you like remember me? Of course, we only met just 10 minutes ago, silly. I know, I'm stupid. I think you're very intelligent. Not really. Hi, Faye. Hi, Faye. Hi, Kai. Hi, Kai. All right, since it's the first day of school and we have new students, let's go around the room and introduce ourselves. Say your name and an interesting fact about yourself. I'll go first. Um, my name is JJ and I'm a lesbian and I like horses and um, I used to be a nerd and have no friends, but now I'm popular. And One um, interesting fact. That was five and none of them were interesting. Next. Hi, I'm Zoe and um, my ponytail is as tight as my... I'm going into retirement. Aren't you a little old for that? I'm Carlos, and I'm about to be a dad. It's not your baby! You, boy in the back, who are you? Casey? 
I'm Casey. She looks terrible. All right, great. No interesting facts. Let's move on. Oh, I have some interesting facts about Casey. Miss Watson, sit down. She's a c She's a liar. She's manipulative. She's a homewrecker. Oh, wow. She's ugly. She kissed my girlfriend. And she thinks she runs this school, when in reality, everyone hates her. Not again. Are you finished? Far from it. She... Yes, she's finished. Babe, sit down. I hate you! No! No, you like woke up star! I'm gonna have to take the whole custody. Who are you calling? My psychiatrist. Good. Don't even look at me! What do you mean he doesn't work there anymore? The whole business shut down? I can't believe we're juniors and we're still riding the bus. My parents won't take me for my driving test. Never mind buy me a car. And I've taken mine seven times and failed. They banned me from taking it again for two years. Can they do that? They can when you hit a pedestrian. You hit a pedestrian? She was fine. God, I'm surprised they only banned you for two years. We're in America. What do you expect? Justice is never served. This year is already off to a great start. I am hot, I am cool, and my cherry has been popped. How does it feel not being a virgin anymore? Honestly, not much different. Also, JJ, technically, your cherry hasn't been popped. What do you mean? Well, we didn't do anything to pop it. Huh? It's a metaphor for like... And we did more like... You know? I'm not following. We didn't do anything internal. So? So, we didn't pop your cherry. So I'm still a virgin? Depends on what your definition of sex is. Excuse me, sorry. Move, I am with child. Actually, I am with two childs. You're seriously not gonna like move for an expectant mother? <laughs> the lack of chivalry. Oh god, I don't want to be seen on this bus. That's so embarrassing. I mean, Emma is also on the bus, so she probably understands our struggles. Did she have her baby already? Go away. Excuse me. I think that's a doll. Does she think it's real? She can't be that dumb. Oh my god, is no one like gonna move for me? She probably thinks it's real. That's kind of sad. It must be difficult being that stupid. We should probably just play along. We don't want to make her feel bad. Right. Oh, here we go. Oh. Emma! Good to see you. Oh, hey guys. I see you had your baby. A what? And no, this is like a doll, obviously. See, do you like need to get your eyes checked? Oh, okay, good. You are aware it's a doll. And do you guys like think I'm stupid? No. No, definitely not. This baby in here is like real, but my mom like wants me to get an abortion, but I like don't want to. So why do you have the doll? Oh, right, sorry. I forgot what we were talking about. This pregnancy is like a lot on me. Totally get it. And no, you don't. You're not like pregnant. You're totally right. I have no idea what you're going through. I- I shouldn't pretend to understand your struggles. Nobody like gets it. It sucks being like 16 and pregnant and not knowing who like the baby daddy is. And I have to carry on this stupid fake baby to prove to my mother that I don't like need an abortion and that I'm capable of being a good mother. I like know nothing about babies or motherhood. Can you hold her? Sure. I'm so glad I'm a lesbian so I don't have to worry about this happening accidentally. Now that I'm sexually active. Oh, you like lost your virginity? I think. Congratulations, that's like amazing. Or like, I'm so sorry to hear that. You never like really know which one it is. Now that I'm sexually active. Oh, you like lost your virginity? I think. Congratulations, that's like amazing. Or like, I'm so sorry to hear that. You never like really know which one it is. Who was it? Well, hopefully me, because we're girlfriends. I mean, you like never know. I lost my virginity to like my boyfriend at the time's brother. He was like not very happy. The boyfriend or the brother? Um, like obviously the boyfriend. Why would the brother be unhappy? He like got to f me. So true. <laughs> I miss him. <laughs> the boyfriend? The brother. Well, maybe you guys could rekindle things. No, they like, they like moved to Switzerland and I'm literally pregnant with someone else's baby. Yeah, that would be difficult. <laughs>
<laughs> Why are you upset? Because I am pregnant. My hormones are going crazy. I don't know whether I'm like sad, hungry, or horny, or all three. I don't want kids. <laughs> pregnant my hormones are going crazy i don't know whether i'm like sad hungry or horny or all three i don't want kids <laughs> well you don't want this thing it's kind of cute no uh, oh, sir i am like pregnant you're going to cause me to have a miscarriage can you like learn how to drive i hate this freaking bus shame you feel what your driver says too well welcome to the club of the juniors who still take the bus it's just us twee. Oh my god, no. I'm not like a loser. And I like totally passed my driver's test. But I'm pregnant. I'm not like supposed to be driving. I don't think that's... Is that a thing? I don't think so. I think you can drive them. And no, I can't. That's a D-U-P. Driving under pregnancy. It's a thing. It's not. What? Well, it like should be. I am no more level-headed than like someone under the influence of alcohol. My mood swings make me want to just like... You know. Oh. <laughs> oh. We're here. First day of junior year. Government hat. I speak for yourself. Here's your big baby back. Oh, f I like don't want her. I can hold her for the day if you want. Oh, please, no. I really don't want to, though. And no, my mom like put a tracking device in her. She'll like know. Emma, um, could we just like hide behind you walking off? I don't really want people to know that we took the bus. Yeah, it's embarrassing. Yeah, just stay behind me. I don't care. When you're 16 and pregnant in high school and you don't know, like, who the dad is, there's really not much more to possibly feel shame about. Can I, like, walk with you guys? I need some, like, emotional support. I'm, like, going through a lot. Yeah, of course. As long as you don't make me hold that thing. You're a good friend. I'm glad we can call ourselves friends now, since I spent all of freshman year being in love with you. And what? 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 You guys were a thing? I like don't know. I have a bad memory. I can't even remember who my baby daddy is. You guys were a thing? I like don't know. I have a bad memory. I can't even remember who my baby daddy is. No, no, we didn't. It never became a thing. You had a crush on me for like over a year. I mean, I think it was more than a crush. It consumed all of my time, energy, and dreams. I didn't know this, and I don't want to know this. Why didn't you ever like tell me? Everyone knew. I didn't. I didn't. Literally the whole school knew. I assumed you didn't like me back. I didn't even like think about it. So are you saying I had a chance? I feel like I should like be careful of like how I answer. Your girlfriend's like right there. She's fine. She's not jealous. We're not toxic like that. I am jealous and I am toxic like that. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's fine. Why don't you just go be with Emma then since I'm your second choice? Guys, I can't do this. I like have the hormones. <laughs> oh, look, you're upsetting star. Hush, baby star. Please shut up. Why don't you just go be with Emma then, since I'm your second choice? Guys, I can't do this. I, like, have the hormones. Oh, look, you're upsetting star. Hush, baby star. Please shut up. I don't want to be with Emma. I love you. Hush, baby star. Don't say a word. Maybe because Emma didn't love you back. No. Emma, you something. I don't have any money. But she clearly does. So why don't you go run off with her and her baby and father her child? Please shut up. Please stop. She clearly needs help anyway. I don't need help. And I want you guys to, like, stop fighting. I don't want to date JJ. I'm, like, only bisexual sexually. I need a man. What am I saying? I don't need a man. I am an independent woman and mother. And I can do this alone. I love you. You're my first choice. Talk to the hands. Who am I, like, kidding? I do need a man. I, like, can't do this alone. Will you please shut up? That's literally all I think about. That's all you think about? Do you guys, like, have to do this in front of me while I'm, like, clearly having a crisis? I don't even notice anyone else. Who are they? I'm all you think about. Do you guys, like, have to do this in front of me while I'm, like, clearly having a crisis? I don't even notice anyone else. Who are they? And this is my twin brother, Kai. I'm Kai. We just moved here from California. 
Wow, that's a firm grip. Strong fingers. <laughs> Thank you. I do finger curls. It's important to do them to have a strong, manly handshake. And for other things. Do you, like, do the finger curls too? Of course. Do you, like, do the finger curls too? Of course. What are you looking for? I'm, like, looking for the hole in the ceiling when you guys, like, fell down from, like, heaven. I don't see a hole. I like her. What are your names? Zoe. JJ Johnson. I have a foam handshake, too. You do? I'm a lesbian. I don't like to label myself. I like to live freely and openly and let things come as they will. Me too. I thought you were bisexual. I'm bisexual, all sexual. Call it like whatever you want. I like, I like don't know. I don't even like know which one of you I'm like more into. It's like crazy. Are you with a child? Yeah, I am pregnant. That's beautiful. I cannot wait to meet the lovely soul that you create. Okay. <coughs> and not now. It's not real. That's hard. Yeah, I like definitely am. Are you? Oh, sorry, like no matter what I do, it doesn't stop. Try hitting it against the walker harder. Please. Okay. I don't like it. Oh my god, like why won't you stop crying? That wasn't hard enough. It made me like want an abortion. Here, let me try. I'm great with babies. It's not a real baby and it literally doesn't stop no matter what I do. But like go for it. Okay, why did the chicken cross the road? Mom, stop, you're not funny. You never make jokes. Well, I made you. It makes me like want an abortion! Here, let me try. I'm great with babies. It's not a real baby, and it literally doesn't stop no matter what I do. But, like, go for it. line between what is real and what is not if any line at all you're so hot here now we must be going would you beautiful people please point us in the direction of principal Aspen's office we would love to get enrolled into this lovely educational institution i don't know see you around either my like water just like broke or my pants are like sucked with something else they were so cool they were cool. No! I'm in the middle of something. Good morning, Principal Asman. I am so sorry to interrupt you hard at work. We are new students and we would like to get enrolled. Get up. Oh! Oh, all right, I gotta deal with this. Get back to cleaning the third floor bathroom. I'm not the janitor. You're not? Oh, I have him booked for Wednesday. Wait, I don't have anything down for today. Who are you? I'm the new PE teacher. You pulled me out of my class and said there was a leak. I don't know anything about plumbing, but this is my first day and I didn't want to get fired already. Yeah, I can't remember if I meant that there was a leak like literally or like figuratively. Well, you almost fixed one of them until we were rudely interrupted. I truly apologize. We can go. Faye, we need to get enrolled. The third floor is flooding! I guess it was literal. All right, get back to work. I'll find you later. All right, get back to work. I'll find you later. To my PE class or to fix the leak? I don't know. I don't care. Just do something. I'm not paying you to just sit here and go down on me unsuccessfully. Yes, ma'am. But respectfully, you're not paying me at all. I'm not? You said that I had to work a semester for free to prove myself. She's such a girl boss. What kind of idiot would take that job? 
Nowhere else would hire me. Well, God, I wonder why. You're pathetic. I'm not supposed to be within 300 feet of the school. Go do something. Sorry. But come back at 2.15. Right. We have unfinished business. Doesn't the school day end at 3? So? It's very nice to meet you. I am Faye, and this is my twin brother, Kai. Ma'am, if you don't mind me asking, why are you wearing a club dress? Every day is a day to slay. So why are you here? We just moved here. Do you want an award? No, ma'am. We would just like to be enrolled. Ugh, that's a lot of paperwork. We would just like to be enrolled. Ugh, that's a lot of paperwork. And there's two of you, so double the paperwork. Sorry, the school's full. I don't want to be homeschooled. Ma'am, this is the only high school in the town. We don't really have much of a choice. Oh, fine, just pick whatever class you want. Okay, that works. We can make our own schedule. Can we see the course list? No. Walk down the hall, pick a door that speaks to you, go inside the classroom, sit down, and maybe learn something. But how will we know if that class is appropriate for our grade? Oh God, do I have to do everything? I mean, if there is someone else we can speak no. to. I am the principal. I am in charge. Come with me. A right, super quick tour. That is where all the kids do drugs. That is where I lost my virginity. Um, that's where all the weird kids hang out. Uh, oh, that's a great drinking spot over there. Oh, that's where all the kids that don't have any friends sit to eat lunch. Oh, and the fourth floor janitor's closet. Great hookup spot. No one ever goes in there. Um, any other questions? It's so beautiful that you're creating such a free, open space for young people to develop. So what do you do for work? Oh, I'm a dental hygienist. What do you do? Dental hygienist? So what is that like? You clean teeth? Speaking of teeth, dude, my ex had the whitest teeth I've ever seen. Probably the whitest teeth you've ever seen. Yeah, they were so nice. She brushed her teeth like three times a day. <laughs> God, I hate her. Oh, uh -huh. okay. So what do you do for work? Oh, yeah, my bad. Uh, I'm a mechanic. Yeah, I like work on cars, motorcycles. <sighs> Speaking of motorcycles, my ex always wanted me to get a motorcycle. Yeah, now our new boyfriend has a motorcycle. <laughs> Hate her so much. Okay, um, so like, what's your favorite food? My favorite food? Um, I don't know, probably pasta. <sighs> her name began with the letter P. Hate the letter P. Oh, really? I love pasta. What's your favorite pasta? I don't know, like, rigatoni or something. Anyways, do you want to see a picture of my ex? I hate her. Oh my god, did I tell you that me and Jason are fighting? <gasps> fighting? Fighting about what? What happened? He keeps leaving the toilet seat up. It's so freaking annoying. It drives me insane. I want to rip his head off every time he does it. Oh my god, speaking of the toilet, girl, I'm so constipated. I haven't pooped in like two weeks. Oh my god, girl, you just need to pop a Miralax. Speaking of though, I haven't had my period in like three months. <gasps> oh my god, I'm gonna be an auntie. Speaking of aunties, did I tell you that my aunt Shirley got locked up? She did? For what? I don't know. She tried, like, robbing a Dollar Tree or something. I don't know. She was, like, high on meth. Yeah, it sounds like Aunt Shirley. Wait, what were we talking about? Oh, yeah, Jason. Oh, my God. He's driving me insane. I swear he, like, does this stuff on purpose. No, I don't think he does. Men are just, like, so... <sighs> They're just so stupid. They, they, like, don't think. They really don't. I don't think he intentionally leaves it up. I don't know. Whatever. Anyways, so what are you going to be for Halloween this year? Mm, I don't know. Maybe it should be a plan B. Also, my hair is so dirty. I need to wash it today. Like, I can't take it. Oh my god, you won't believe this. Listen to this. I go to the dentist yesterday. The dentist tells me I have four cavities, and I need to get three root canals, and I need to get two teeth pulled. What? Oh my god, are you kidding me? Where'd you find this guy? Freaking Facebook Marketplace? No way. No way this guy even has his license. Where'd he get his license from? Freaking YouTube tutorial? You don't have any of those things. Your teeth are great. Look at your teeth. So white and shiny. Oh my god, no. No. Don't even worry about it. You're fine. Right? Oh my god. Right? Oh my god, that makes me feel so much better. Yeah, I just needed like a second opinion. No. That guy's crazy. He's crazy. He's just trying to get money out of me. My teeth are fine. I brush my teeth. You've seen me brush my teeth, right? Girl, of course. I've, I've seen you do it. I know you do it stop he's crazy you're fine you're fine you're fine you're fine actually come give me a whiff come here breathe in my mouth you're good 
you're good. You're good, babes. You're good. Maybe go brush them right now. But besides that, you're good. Oh, this is the funny shit I've ever seen. So what kind of things do you like to do for fun? I love hiking. I love the outdoors. Um, lately, I've been rollerblading. That has been really fun. My ex used to love the outdoors. Yeah. She would make me go on hikes at 8 in the morning on Saturdays. <sighs> I hate her so much. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, what do you like to do for fun? Um, I like to go to the bar. Um, I like to work on my car. Yeah, I've been like getting some new parts for it or whatever yeah my ex used to hate when i would order new parts but good thing i'm not with her anymore i can do what i want <sighs> god i hate her so much speaking of cars what kind of car do you drive oh i have a nissan altima of course of course you have a nissan altima <laughs> let me guess your ex had a nissan altima yep yep she did how'd you know that do you know her Nope, I don't know her, but I feel like I know more about her than I know about you. I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see until she comes in. I refuse to believe that he has a wife. Like, why would he take me out on a date? That's so grimy. Did he really think that I wouldn't find out? I guess, I don't know. Well, update me. I'm really busy right now. I gotta go. What? No. How am I supposed to know what she looks like? Oh, trust me, you'll know. Hi, good afternoon. Can I just please get a table for one? Hi, just for one? Yeah, sure, follow me. Yeah, the kiddos are with my mom. I thought I'd come in and see my husband. <laughs> okay, just right this way. Okay, here's your table. Go ahead, have a seat, and your waitress will be right over. Thank you so much. Um, Do you actually mind going in the back and telling my husband that I'm here? His name's Jason? Yeah, no, I don't, I don't mind at all. Absolutely. I'll go tell him right now. And your name? Just tell him Jen's here. Okay, sure. <clears throat> hey Jason Jen's here yeah that's gonna be for tables <laughs> really you thought I wasn't gonna find out I can expect so what time are we doing dinner on Thursday around six okay that's unfortunately not gonna work for me I need an exact time like 6 30 yeah that's still not gonna work I just don't really love the uncertainty with you using the word like Definitely 6.30. Okay, perfect. That works for me. Have we had a chance to look over like menus and stuff? What about parking? No, I know Thursday's a week away, but I feel like we should just start planning now. So what time is everyone leaving their houses? I'm thinking of leaving my house around like 5.45, even though it's only a 10 minute drive. I just really want to make sure I get there early and like settle in, take like a second to just like sit in my car and like get ready for the dinner and then get in the restaurant and really like soak in the environment. Also want to make sure I have enough time to park my car. You know I'm not good at parking, so that usually takes me about like seven minutes to do. So yeah, I'll do that. Like I said, I already Google Maps it, so I'll just send you a picture of exactly where my car is parked. So you can park either next to me or find different parking, um, but I will just send you like a street view just so you know where you're going. No, I know you've been there before, but I feel like, you know, just like a refresher is good. This family makes me want to murder people. That shirt that you were wearing in your Instagram picture is really cute. The one that you just posted. Um, do you know where that shirt's from? Oh, thanks. Yeah, it's actually from Urban. Um, sorry, not to, like, be weird or bring this up, but I can't help it. I've just been, like, noticing this really weird pattern that you've been doing where you don't like my Instagram pictures or comment under them, but I know that you see them. So, is there, like, a reasoning behind that or do you just forget or what do you mean? I'm confused. I mean, what do you mean? Like, what is there to be confused about? Why don't you like my Instagram pictures or comment under them? When I immediately comment under yours the second that you post them and I look like your biggest fan in the comments. Sorry. So you're saying you want me to go like and comment your Instagram picture? You could have just asked. Well, it's almost like I shouldn't have to ask you. You know what I mean? Like, you're my friend. Or at least I thought you were. So I would assume that you would just like want to do that. You're being so dramatic right now. I literally don't get it. I just wanted to know where your top was from. And I'm not just speaking for myself. I'm speaking for all men out here that are, you know, currently single and dating. Um, we prefer a woman who has a very low body count. Preferably under three. And even then, I feel like three might be pushing it.
Um, you have to be like a 10 out of 10 for me to even consider dating you if your body count is three. Yeah, like I said, I would prefer it to be zero. But, you know, nowadays with these women, with these types of women, um, that is just, that is very rare. That's a rare gem to find. What's my body count? Oh, wow. Um, whew. Yeah, I really got to think about that. I mean, I don't even know. I stopped counting after 750. And that was like three years ago. So we should be up in the 2500s now. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken. Type shit. But, like, how else am I supposed to find the one? You know, I'm a guy. It's totally different. It's totally different. It's like, not even on the same level. But women are just, like, they just, like, aren't classy anymore. You know, you just can't find a respectable, classy lady. Just, like, thought. I'll be right back. <laughs> Can I get you anything? A gun. And I feel awful. Well, the only reason I'm single is because I actually have standards. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not like these other guys who will hook up with anything with a heartbeat. The only thing I ask for from a woman is for her to have a big butt, big boobs, pretty face, tiny waist, um, and everything needs to be natural. She needs to have a good job, be financially stable, she needs to own a house, um, a nice car, it needs to be paid off because what do you mean you're in debt? Like, that's embarrassing. She can't be a THOT, she can't go out, no bars, no clubs, um, she needs to swallow an air tag. She can't really have any friends either because I don't want her to have bad influences in her life. I think that's pretty much it. Hopefully I'm not forgetting anything. Yeah, I feel like that type of woman is the most compatible with me. Um, like, I don't really have a job right now, but I'm actively looking for one. I also don't have a car, and I do live in my mom's basement. My days pretty much just consist of sitting in the dark and playing video games and drinking gallons and gallons of Mountain Dew. I'm also built like a double wide trailer and I don't shower or own a toothbrush. But this isn't about me. This is about the type of girl that I'm looking for. Go clean your room. No, it's my room. Well, it's my house. Then go clean it. You've been so MIA recently. Like, I don't know. Like, did I do something? Like, we used to go out every single night and get blackout. And now you, like, text me once a week. Like, what's wrong? Um, well, I did give birth. So I can't really do that anymore. Why? Just, like, bring it with you. Bring my child with me to the bar? Um, he's, like, three months old. Oh, right. Yeah, he's gotta be 21 to drink. Okay. No, yeah, I forgot about that. So, like, what do you, like, guys, like, do all day? Like, what, like, what does it like to do? It is a boy. Um, I mean, he's still a little baby, so all he really does is, like, cry, eat, and sleep. Mainly cry. Oh, is he a cancer? I know they're, like, super emotional. You should get him into therapy. No, he's not a cancer. Um, so he cries because he's a baby, and that's, like, what babies do. Oh. Uh, what else does it like to do? Like, does it like to go on TikTok? No, not yet. So it can't drink and it can't go on TikTok? Dude, this thing sucks. Like I said, oh my gosh, that is hurting my ear, brother. Yes, is Chloe. this legit real? Because we didn't get a warning and my anxiety is through the roof right now. It doesn't matter. Let's just get okay. moving. Okay, well, I have to grab my stuff and I have to get my Dunkin'. It's cold outside, isn't it? I need a jacket. You don't need that stuff. We okay, need so the lead. I'm walking. Lily, come by me. Hey, Chloe, don't worry. This is definitely a Jessica, drill. Jessica, don't even try to be my friend right now. I was really hoping you got burned up in the fire. Guess dreams don't come true, do they, Lily? <laughs> Guess they don't. You guys need to walk Yo, a little faster, me. okay? so cold. Of course our school is so ghetto, ours would burn down. Wait, Miss Smith? Yes, Chloe? Has anybody seen Chatty Chat? He's not even in our classroom, well, Chloe. Well, I know that, but I need to find him and make sure he got out safely. I'm sure he's safe. And do any boys have a hoodie I can borrow? My phone, I got my phone, I got my phone. Okay, okay. One, two, three. Okay, one more. Say cheese. One, two, three. It was a video. It was a video. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. What? Hi, y'all. Pack my daughter's lunch with me. It's very late because I was watching Love Island and oh, the time just got away from me. Too much wine. I have forgot to record the clip, but I was making her some Logan's cucumbers. I'm just shaking that up. So this is the lunch box we got off the TikTok shop. If you want to click the little button there, but I'm just putting those right in there. I'm also going to put these Alani gummies in there as well. 
Now she told me this was an old trend, but I'm doing the bell pepper with the cream cheese. And then I don't know how I'm gonna fit this big Stanley, but it's full of ice and water for her tomorrow. And I'm gonna put this in a little container, but I can't wait for them to go back to school. So talk to y'all later. How are me and Kendall doing? Absolutely horrible. Yep, and it's all Kendall's fault. I feel like this is a perfect opportunity to talk about this super traumatizing moment um, on national television in front of everyone. Um, I just think it's a really great time to air it out. And I will start off speaking for Kendall. So basically, Kendall was exposed. A video of his got leaked, and he lied to me about it. Um, well, no, technically, he didn't lie about the video itself. He lied to me about who he sent it to. And truly, I think that is worse. He really traumatized me, and he put me in such an uncomfortable situation. Like, seriously, I'm getting so much hate online. I'm getting so much backlash. People are being so rude to me. I am just so, much, so, so traumatized. Way more traumatized than Kendall. He has no idea what I'm going through. And I'm going through all of this behind closed doors, and I haven't really spoken about it because I'm so embarrassed. Um, way more embarrassed than Kendall is. Hey, I miss you so much. Do you want to hang out today? Yeah. Oh my god, of course. I miss you too. Um, what do you want to do? Well, I was actually just thinking we can hang out for like 45 minutes. Like, do you think that's good? I feel like that's plenty of time to like catch up. Um, maybe grab like a quick bite. Maybe like a mark. Oh, do you have like something after that you have to go to? We can like hang out a different day if you want to hang out for like a longer time. No, no, no. Um, actually, I'm completely free. I was just thinking that's like a perfect amount of time to be social for. You want to hang out for a specific amount of time? Is that, is that normal? Oh, sorry, what? Well, I just feel like after 45 minutes, uh, like I might start getting a little like nonverbal. So, and I don't want to put you in an uncomfortable situation where you're the only one carrying the conversation and I'm just like dying to go on my phone. So I feel like 45 minutes is plenty of time. Oh. Okay, yeah, that's fine. That works. Hey, when are we going to go to bed? Okay, I literally don't know why you keep asking us because we're clearly awake and we're not tired. So, like, if you want to go to sleep, just go to sleep. <laughs> Lily, oh my gosh. What? We're literally not even talking about you. Like, if you want to go to bed, just go to bed. Nobody's pressuring you to stay up. Oh my gosh, yeah, I know. It's so funny. That's like, oh, you I'm, guys, I'm you guys, we made her mad. She's mad. No, because my, my mom has literally asked you all like 15 times to be quiet and none of you are like respecting it. Like just be on your phone or something. So where's everyone sleeping? Um, well, only two people can be in this bed. So me and Lily and everybody else is going to have to sleep on the floor because that's like too crowded and I'm claustrophobic as is. And that's just going to give me so much anxiety. I'm already having like a lot because you guys are stressing me out and you're not doing like everything I'm asking of you. So like I just I have to be in control. You guys are stressing me out. Oh, Chad's FaceTiming me, so, like, can everybody, like, get out? Because, like, I need an intimate moment with my boyfriend. Like, you guys wouldn't understand because you don't have boyfriends, but, like, yeah. But, like, Lily, you can stay because, like, you know Chad. Everybody else has to go, though. Oh, my gosh, let's watch a movie in the movie room. That'll be no, so No, we're not doing that because nobody wants to do that. Do you guys want to do that? Yeah, like, nobody wants to do that. It's literally lame. We're not doing that. Good morning, you guys. Oh my gosh, my Stanley's not even facing the right way. I can't have people think I have one from, like, five below. It literally says Stanley. Anyways, like I was saying, good morning, guys. Today, my mom literally is on my last freaking nerve. She told me no more going to Sephora this whole week. It's the freaking toilet paper roll that's supposed to be curling my curtain bangs right now. I literally had to block Chatty Chad from my TikTok page so that he doesn't see me like this. Because... <laughs> I real don't know how I'm gonna survive this week. My mom literally had the nerve to tell me that they had curtain bangs before we had curtain bangs and she knows how to style them. They did it just like this. Didn't know my mom was from the 1900s. And my mom literally said she grew up without Sephora and I was like, oh my God, that's why you're so freaking bitter all the time. She said she survived. Uh, clearly she didn't. She's like ugly. They didn't have retinol. 
Why are you FaceTiming me? I told you multiple times, I don't want to talk to you. Why? Because uh, I don't have to give you a reason, okay? Just, like, respect my boundaries. Can you just tell are me? You fine. It's because I'm mad at you. What did I do? <sighs> like, you don't even know. Okay, so you know how you were over at my house the other day? Yeah. You got up to go to the bathroom while I scrolled on your phone. Wait, what? Shut up, okay? I had this suspicion. Okay, I had this gut feeling that something was going on. So, yes, I went through your phone like any good girlfriend would. I went through your Instagram, and I saw your top searches, and Summer Ray's name was there. So, like, obviously I was curious, so I clicked on her profile, and I saw that you liked multiple bikini pictures of her. No, you know how she makes me feel. Like, I'm so insecure already, and that just, like, made me way more insecure about myself. No, that's practically cheating. You know what? You don't have a girlfriend anymore, Chad, so you don't have to worry about it. Go slide into Summer Ray's DMs for all I care. All right, bet. I was thinking maybe we should get some Taco Bell. I don't think you're going to go to the gates of hell. Why do you say that? You shouldn't talk like that. And then I found out that Jason was actually cheating on me the entire relationship. Mm -hmm. With the girl that he told me was his cousin. So. Wait, who's selling their limbs on Facebook Marketplace? Is it someone I know? I actually really like this song. Wait, who sings it? You're wearing a thong? Okay, I don't really know how to respond to that. I mean, good for you. So proud of you. You're so brave. I appreciate it. Thank you. But no, I actually said I really like the song. You really like being strong. Yeah. No, that's amazing. Like, I'm so happy for you. Ever since you've been going to the gym, I swear you have like a different glow to you. I think you sat in something because it looks like there's something on your butt, like a huge stain. And it's the color brown. Oh my God, really? When are you going out of town? Why didn't you tell me? Where are you going? What is that in your hand? A pen? Your penjamin? That's so childish. Seriously, you're still using those things? What are we in eighth grade? Don't you know how bad those are for you? They're filled with pesticides. And you're just willingly inhaling that into your body? Oh my god, your poor lungs. Me? I mean, I know I've been vaping since fifth grade. But we're not talking about me. We're talking about you and you inhaling harmful pesticides. Why don't you just use the real deal? Like, I don't get it. Does that thing even get you floating? I bet you're not even halfway to Saturn. See, if you were using the real deal, you would already be on Saturn. You would be the president of Saturn. Don't those things give you insane brain rot? They, like, burn off all your brain cells? You're probably already on the verge of being brain dead, huh? Yeah, it could never be me. No, I'm not, like, hating on you or anything. I just think it's really stupid for you to be using those things. Yeah, like, seriously, grow up. You're such a child. You're so immature. Hey, before I go, do you mind if I hit it just one time just to see what it's like? Don't go in my closet. Just let me look. Why can't you just be nice to me for once? Please let me borrow this. Put I it back. I promise I won't ruin it. Put it back. I promise. Put it back. Can we go get food, please? No, no, I'm not going to make you pay this time. I promise. I pinky swear. If you let me borrow this one time, I will never ask ever again to borrow anything from you. I swear. No. Babes, I think you sat in something. There's something on your butt. It's like a big stain. It's brown. Looks like caca. Did you poop yourself? Did you just say my butt is fat? Stop. Oh my god, stop. You are too freaking kind. I have been going to the gym. <laughs> it is a little fat, isn't it? Yeah. It's got like a little jiggle to it or whatever. Yeah. Um, it said that your card declined. What's the time? Um, my phone's dead, and I don't know how to read my watch, so I don't know. Sorry. Oh my god, careful. Watch your feet. There's a rat right there. Did you just call me a brat? Oh my god, stop. Am I actually being a brat? But it's brat summer, you know what I mean? Like, I can be a brat if I want to. Um, I don't know how to tell you this, but I think Jason is cheating on you. I saw him with some other girl, and she was, like, getting in his car. He was opening the door for her. Jason has been treating me so well. Oh my god, I know. He is perfect. Seriously, like, I could not have asked for a better guy. He takes care of me all the time. He treats me so well. You're right, I'm glad you've noticed. How did your date go with that one guy that you said you were going to go out with? Oh my god, amazing. It was like one of the best first dates I've ever been on. Seriously, it was perfect. Oh my god, yay. I'm so happy for you. I'm assuming there's going to be a second date. Oh no, I actually ghosted him. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? I thought you said it went really well. What happened? 
Well, like, the date itself went really well, and then when we were leaving the restaurant, um, the second that we stepped outside, it literally started thundering and storming and pouring so hard. So I just, like, took that as a sign from Mother Nature that he's, like, no good. You know, he's just, like, a massive red flag. You ghosted him because the weather was bad? What do you mean? It's literally a sign from the sky. Like, there could not be a more obvious sign not to go out with this guy ever again. Matter of fact, the second that we stepped out of the restaurant and started downpouring, I literally sprinted the other direction, like, full speed. Like, I turned into a track star. And then I just went home and blocked his number, and I never talked to him ever again. Right. Okay. No, yeah, that totally makes sense. Never thought I'd be in love like this. So what kind of music do you like to listen to? My music taste is all over the place. Honestly, I don't really have like a specific genre that I like to stick to, but one of my favorite artists is Lana Del Rey. Do you know who that is? Do I know who that is? You have no idea. We have so much in common. Lana Del Rey is my favorite artist of all time. Oh, it's actually Lana Del Rey? Yeah, that's like what I said. No, but seriously, like she makes some really great music. Yeah, she really does. Um, What are like some of your favorite songs? Uh, you know that one, um, that's like, summertime sadness. Yeah, uh, I do know that song. Um, any other ones? There's just so many good ones, like, I can't even, I can't even begin to, like, categorize them, you know? That would be, like, that would be a crime to rank Lana Del Fey songs. Well, come on, like, what's one more that you love? You know, enough about me. Let's talk more about you. Um, what color is it? Sorry? Sorry, sorry, um, I meant to say, what's your favorite color? Thank you. Enjoy your day. You too, Poppy. You too, Poppy? What you trying to get into? So how are you handling the breakup? Like, are you doing okay? Surprisingly, I'm doing a lot better than I expected. But I feel like what's been helping me the most is kind of just, like, remembering all the things that he would do. And they're kind of just, like, giving me the ick now. And it's, like, grossing me out, you know? Oh my god, really? Like, what are some of the things that he would do? If you don't mind me asking, of course. Oh yeah, I don't mind. I'll tell you. So, like, one of the things would be um, how he didn't take showers regularly. He would only take a shower, I think, once a week. And then when he would take a shower, he would never use any soap or, like, body wash. Um, just because he says that's, like, too girly and he's very masculine, so he doesn't believe in using soap. And then when he would take his weekly shower, he would only be in there for approximately like 30 seconds to a minute, mainly because he said that taking showers would take time away from him playing video games and taking a shower just felt unproductive when he could rather be playing video games. He also didn't really brush his teeth. He only brushed them like, I don't know, maybe once every couple of weeks. Are you joking? How did you like put up with the smell? Well, when we would kiss, I would just hold my breath so I couldn't really smell his. And then if his body odor was really bad, I would just use my shirt and just, like, cover my nose with it. Hey, do you mind if I borrow a top from you? I just spilled all over mine. Oh my god, of course not. Um, Do you want, like, a t-shirt, a tank top? No, actually, do you have a black oversized hoodie? I mean, yeah, I do, but it's 90 degrees out. Are you sure that's what you want? Oh my god, yeah, no, I'm totally fine. I'm actually completely used to wearing um, thick layers of clothing all year round because Jason actually doesn't allow me to wear anything revealing because he doesn't like me being dressed like a T-H-O-T. So, do you have a hoodie that I can borrow? Um, We're not going anywhere, though. Like, we're just staying at my house, so it's not like we're going to be, like, outside. Do you just want a t-shirt? I mean, it's not like he's going to find out. Oh, no, trust me. He will find out. And I don't want to start a fight, okay? We've been good for three hours and 27 minutes, and I do not want to ruin that. How would he find out? Oh, he has my location. Oh, look, he's looking through that window right there. Hey, babe. So what are you looking for, like, dating-wise? Are you interested in pursuing a relationship, or are you kind of just, like, casually dating, not really looking for anything serious? I'm not really, like, totally sure on what exactly I want. Mainly, I just want someone that I can, like, spend a lot of time with, you know? 
Um, I work from home, so my job can get kind of lonely. And um, yeah, I just want someone who can be dependable and constantly available and just like fun, interesting, and can keep me company. I also really want to go on dates. I love being spontaneous and, you know, having fun little adventures. Um, so I want someone to always be available for that. And most importantly, someone that I can fall asleep next to at night. And I obviously want them to be loyal. I don't want them to see anyone else but me. But I'm also not looking for anything serious. You know, I, I'm not ready to settle down. My whole life is ahead of me. I just want something casual, fun. Um, I don't really know the word for it. You know, just kind of like a fling. Hey, is it okay if I borrow that pink top that you have? Yeah, of course. Is it okay if I also borrow the white shoes that you had, like the sandal ones with the wedge, if you're not going to wear them? I just have like a really cute like vision for the outfit. I was going to do like that pink top and then like a really cute skirt and then those sandals. That would be so cute. Yeah, of course, you can borrow those. Just make sure you bring them back the same way that I gave them to you because they're white. Oh my god, of course, girl. Don't even worry about it. I'll bring them back the exact same way that you gave them to me. Also, um, just one more thing. I'm sorry. Can I use that Fenty lip gloss that you have? Um, like the one that's kind of like pinky? Oh, no, I'm sorry. Um, I just like don't really like to share lip products. So, sorry. Wait, what? Are you kidding? Yeah, no, I'm sorry. Um, I don't know. I just like, I'm kind of weird about that stuff. Like, I just wouldn't feel comfortable sharing lip products. So you're trying to say I'm gross? Girl, no, that's not what I'm saying at all. I'm just saying I don't like sharing lip products. I wouldn't even drink out of someone else's straw. So before I overreact and jump to conclusions, I want to talk to you about something because I'm sure you have a perfectly good and reasonable excuse to the question that I'm about to ask. Ugh, what now? Right, um, so I just wanted to ask, last night when I was sleeping, I randomly woke up at like 2 in the morning and I decided to check your location and it said that you were in some random parking lot for like an entire hour. Your location didn't move or anything, so I was just confused what you were doing. Oh my god, I have no privacy. You don't even trust me. You literally don't even trust me. Like, why are we even together? Um, well, you still haven't answered what you were doing. I wasn't even doing anything. I was just with my friend. Oh, okay, no problem. Yeah, that's completely fine. What friend was it? Why do you need to know everything? This is so annoying. It was one of my old friends. Her name's Lily. We we're just having a deep conversation. In the back seat. I wasn't cheating on you. It was an accident. Do you need a ride tonight? No, I'm actually good. I think I'll just Uber. No, I insist. Let me give you a ride. I'm not going to be drinking tonight, so I'm just going to DD. You can just ride with me. I mean, are you sure? Do you want me to, like, give you gas money or something? No, 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 you're fine. My parents actually just filled my tank, so you're good. I'll just take you for free. Okay, cool. Sounds good. So, actually, after further consideration, I, um, I don't know how to, like, ask this without being weird, but do you mind just, like, Venmoing me, um, some money for gas? Because, you know, I took you and... It kind of took a lot of gas, so if you could just, like, Venmo me back that money, that would be great. Okay, um, yeah, no, that's fine, I get it. How much do you want me to Venmo you? Well, we only use, like, a quarter tank of gas, but honestly, if you want to just, like, Venmo me for half a tank, that would be even better, just, like, as a courtesy, because I offered to take you. Didn't you say that your parents filled your tank? So, I'm just paying interest, technically, that's what this is. My Venmo is 